Hi, I'm Olivia. And I'm Brad. And we're both summer students at Plant and Food this summer. Um, I'm working to help find some genes that control flowering and kiwi fruit. And I'm exploring genes that turn fruit orange. And so this is our second year for both of us doing the studentship. It's a great experience to get lots of hands-on work in the lab and really experience what it's like to be a scientist. Hi, I'm Rolly and I'm teaching our summer student Michelle here how to shake oysters for our upcoming project with us this summer. Yep, yeah, so hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a summer student here at Plant and Food Research based in Mount Albert. And this summer I'm looking into the application of blast freezing to enhance the food safety of oysters contaminated with Vibrio monificus. So Vibrio monificus can make you seriously ill if you ingest it or if you have cuts in your skin. So this summer we're working with industry to um, investigate blast freezing as a risk mitigation method to deliver fresh and safe oysters for you oyster lovers. Kia ora ko kranga kranga ta hare to ku ingoa he tawira ho ki te ranga ho ahu māra kai e ranga ho ana i ngā ahu tanga tipu o tēnei taonga te poroporo. Uh, kia ora, I'm a summer student at Plant and Food Research. My project is focusing on um, expanding the knowledge around the poroporo plant which is a native taonga species in New Zealand. Traditionally it was used for medicinal purposes. Um, the plant itself is toxic but when the fruit turn orange, they are safe to eat. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm a summer student here at Plant and Food Research in Nelson. And my project is on the cryopreservation of snapper milk for aquaculture. So what this means is I'm developing techniques for preserving snapper sperm in liquid nitrogen, uh, which is at 100, negative 196 degrees Celsius. Um, so as you can see here, um, these sperm have been preserved for about a week in liquid nitrogen. and there's uh, so very active, which is um, awesome to see. Uh, so ultimately, this will allow us to preserve the genetics of the elite snapper brewstock here in Nelson and support uh, selective breeding initiatives. Kia ora, ko Jack tō huingua, ko Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara tō huiwi. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm a summer student at Plant and Food Research Centre in Mount Albert. I'm working with genes that regulate flowering and branching in Petunia. We look at petunias as a model organism, as they're fast to grow and easy to work with. Uh, in the future, we hope to use these genes to make fruit crops more efficient. Thank you. Oh, kia ora, hello. Didn't see you there. Hey, I'm Wakapo and I'm a summer student at Plant and Food Research. Since the introduction of the honeybee to New Zealand, Māori people have been well involved in beekeeping activities and spaces where the bee has influenced the environment. Māori also have a holistic and intricate understanding of the environment, which include tohu, or the signs of the environment, and maramataka, the Māori lunar calendar. I'm here at Te Araroa to have a kōrero with beekeepers to see if they can utilise or are utilising the traditional ecological knowledge within maramataka and tohu. I'm stoked to be doing this project and look forward to doing more research. Kia ora! Uh, kia ora no ko karangoe tēnei. Um, so we've got some new exciting development here at Plant and Food. My poroporo seedlings, seedlings have flowered and they've got beautiful purple flowers. So now we can track the development from flowering through to ripeness of fruit. So these are some fruit developing and we can see the old flowers here and now tag to identify when it flowered. Once the fruit are ripe, when they so this one's yellow at the moment, so when they turn orange we will do further testing to measure the carotenoid level in the fruit which is what causes them to become orange. Um, another development is that we can send our leaves off to Lincoln to measure the ploidy level in the plant to identify which of the two species that we have here at Plant and Food. Kia ora. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle, so we're here at the Seafood Research Unit and we're actually in the middle of a blast freezing trial at the moment. So in front of me I've got some fresh um, packaged oysters that have been inoculated with Vibrio vulnificus and they're just about to go into the blast freezer over here. So the blast freezer is running at minus 55 degrees Celsius and the aim for this trial is to get them down to minus 8. So these oysters are hooked up to some thermocouples and this data logger here will be monitoring real time the temperature inside of the oysters so that by the end of the trial we can get a really nice time temperature profile. Um, so each trial spans about a week, so throughout the week we'll be taking some microbiological samples and this will effectively help us determine how much bacteria has been killed by the process and therefore how effective blast freezing is as a risk mitigation step. 
So yeah, that's a little bit of an update from me. Uh, we've got to get these into the blast reader. So we'll catch you soon.